All right, Savages, co-main event, Dustin Poirier versus Benoit St. Denis. Basil, what do you do with your hands here? I don't know what to do with my hands. Oh, shit. All right. All right. <laughs> Let me get into Poirier really quick. He's a dangerous southpaw, practically a household name at this point after you knock out McGregor. That's a red penny night for sure. Oh, yeah. His missus was very happy. He gets in there. I love uniquely what he uses, almost no fighter uses as well, is this stonewall, high elbow, shoulder roll, alternative defense. He'll go to it more than anyone I've seen in the game. It really threw off Max Holloway. Max Holloway spoke about it in the corner during the fight that he just couldn't find the shots he wanted to find. Saying it's, he was he was blocking weird. He's like, coach, like, hit him. He's like, I can't. He's blocking weird. Yep. In boxing, you have those huge 16-ounce gloves. We're playing with these small little gloves in this MMA wor world. So it does a big difference to get some body in the way, some elbow, some forearm in the way, and at least ride the shot, deflect it partially. Poirier is amazing at this. He'll go to his straight left off of it, hurts opponents and stays on them, gets most of his finishes done and flurries. It's more than one shot. If he hurts you, you know he's going to stay on you. Multiple hooks, body shots, elbows. And if it hits the ground, he's got a nasty Dars choke, the diamond, a killer. What you got, Robin, for Benoit Saint-Denis on the other side of the octagon? For Benoit Saint-Denis, uh, looking at this fight, the fight I rewatched was Poirier versus Chandler. There's some really striking similarities. Benoit Saint-Denis starts almost every fight by slamming body kicks into his opponent repeatedly. When he fought Bonfim, he was body kicking, body kicking, and he was telling him to keep doing it. He was blasting his arm, hit him with five or six in a row. When Michael Chandler opened up against Dustin Poirier, he did the same thing. He slammed a bunch of body kicks in initially, and then he did the same thing that Benoit St. Denis likes to do, which is pressure and dive his head in like a bulldog for double legs. Now, the other thing that happened in this fight that's a little bit more worrying for Benoit St. Denis, just like in the Chandler fight, is he likes to go crazy against the fence. His nickname of, is God of War, and you can see it when he's timed to try to chase the finish. Michael Chandler, and Poirier, Michael Chandler on Poirier swung crazy on the fence, and Poirier kept a level head, kept eyes on him, and counted him with giant right hooks, one of, them which, one of which sat him down in a low squat. When Benoit St. Denis fought Thiago Moises, almost the same thing happened. He goes a little too crazy on the fence with his chin up swinging. Thiago Moises hit him with a couple of hard counters. So I think those things are going to happen in this fight. The question is who's going to take it and who's going to win it. Basil, what do you have for these breakdowns? What can you tell us about what you think of Poirier? Man, you guys touched on some great points. Uh, I really can't like say much else on those. This is, I think, in, in the matchup of how they two, how the, them two meet head on. I think we, Dustin Poirier is much more technical. We've seen that in his fights. He has the ability to finish the fight at any point on the feet. Uh, this is a fight where I think it's really going to come down to the grit. Who's going to have more grit? Because mm. Benoit Saint Denis, younger fighter, still more, less less years of fighting on his body, uh, very gritty, very very aggressive. You know, always trying to chase the finish and, and trying to be aggressive, whether it's a takedown, whether it's putting against the cage or throwing heavy body kicks, like you said. And Dustin can weather the storm. We've seen him weather the storm time and time it's again time. and get the finish. And so it really is going to depend on who's going to grit, grit it out in this fight and win, I think, in the later rounds. Because I think Dustin has the ability to withstand the storm in the beginning. And then Benoit is tough enough as well to be able to eat you know, Dustin's strikes early on. Mm. I think it's going to go second or third round, but it could be a finish. I really like that you I say think, later rounds, too, because yeah. this fight is five rounds. Dustin requested five rounds. He wants it to go late. He wants to go to deep water. But why are we sleeping on, on Benoit Saint-Denis? Benoit I mean, the guy who's an ex-military man and understands what it, awesome. what it takes to be able to last the later rounds. I think this is going to be maybe uh, newer water for him. You know, Dustin's been there. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it's going to be water that he won't be able to tread and, and be able to handle, you know. So I'm excited to see it. But uh, – what do you guys think about the predictions here? What's going to happen in the fight? What do you Official think? prediction. What do you think, Ryan? One interesting piece, Benoit Saint-Denis loves to slam in the open stance body kick. This is not an open stance matchup. They're both southpaws. We're going closed stance. It's less available. It's not that he can't throw it. It just lands a little less cleanly overall, and it's a little bit harder to get to, a little easier to see coming. Not as much of a clear path for that kick. I think Benoit Saint-Denis is an absolute dog. Both of them are. It's such a great fight. Super hard to pick a winner. Best bet, uh, my money would be it goes under five and someone gets finished. If I have to pick someone in this matchup, I'm going to go young blood, new blood, Saint-Denis, a TKO. Benoit Saint-Denis. Okay. I, I really am curious if Dustin Porter is going to jump the ghillie. 
Because how many times does takedown defense has he jumped the guillotine? And Benoit's got a little neck like a pit bull. He's great at shaking his head in and out and like getting out of those guillotines and staying on top and pressuring. The five rounds is very interesting. Poirier could totally knock him out. Benoit goes too crazy, but I think Benoit's going to try to stick to him like glue. I tried to go back in his fights to find a southpaw he fought because he realized that open side body kick so much. The last time he fought a southpaw was before the UFC, way back in the day, but immediately he went to grappling. He wasn't really going towards a strike and going towards his body kick. So I got Benoit St. Denis, but I wouldn't be too surprised if a finish happens in this fight on either end. What do you think, official prediction? I think this is going to be a clean sweep. I'm going with the same thing that you guys picked, honestly. Benoit. It's not that I don't think Dustin has what it takes. I think Dustin has what it takes, but I think Benoit is just more aggressive and, and a younger, fresh blood, and he has that hunger. And we've seen in Dustin's fights that he always pushes it, but if someone's more aggressive and goes for that finish, I think that they'll have the ability to get it. I don't think the grappling is going to be much of an advantage for Dustin. I think... Benoit's a good grappler as well. He's not, they're both not great grapplers. I think that's the point here. So there's not going to be an ability to flex on either one. It's going to be a, a punch, then go for the submission after you, you, you daze him. But I'm going to go with Benoit St. Denis by finish in the third, second or third round, I think. Let's go God of War. God of War.